What is up, my Giants fans? It's your boy, Jay Donaldson. We are back at it with another New York Giants video. And if this is your first time watching, make sure you like, make sure you comment, and make sure you join the Dom Dropper gang. Now, let's hop into this video. So, it all comes down tomorrow. We have finally made it. It's been a long time, but we, we made it. We made it. You know, the season already started off pretty good with Dallas losing to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. You know what I'm saying? So they are fourth place right now in the division, you know. Um, and we hope tomorrow that the Giants do start off the season 1-0. and oh. So let's jump into it. Ever since I made that Denver Broncos Giants Week 1 team comparison video, Broncos fans have been in my comments talking greasy about my squad. And I tried to be, and I tried to take the conservative route with some of the comments, but you had guys saying just some out of, just some out of world stuff, calling Kenny Gotti overrated, Saquon Barkley isn't good, Melvin Gordon is better than Saquon Barkley. They were just saying some out of line stuff. So I really do hope that the Giants just go in there and kick Bron the kick the Broncos' ass. I really do hope that you know they just beat them off the field. But I'm gonna take the conservative route, and I'm gonna say. Whichever offense can make plays on the opposing team's defense will win the game. I do believe that. The Broncos, they have a pretty good defense. You know, Justin Simmons, arguably the best safety in the league. Kareem Jackson is a decent safety. You know, they have one of the best safety duels in the league. You know, they have, I would say, at least four corners, four or five corners that are pretty good. You know, Bryce Callahan, decent, good. One of the best slot corners in the, in the, in the game. You know, they just drafted Patrick Sertan, who was highly 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 um regarded coming out of alabama you know they signed kyle fuller who the last time he was in vic vangio's defensive scheme he was a pro bowler you know what i'm saying ronald darby who isn't like an amazing corner but he's a pretty decent cornerback you know cornerback two guy on anybody's team so they have a few pieces and then um they also are getting back von miller and that is huge for denver they are also they also have bradley chubb you know so they have two pass rushing linebackers that the Giants have to make sure don't wreck the game that is one thing that I really really am banking on if the Giants go out tomorrow and lose but the offensive line doesn't you know give up five sacks they you know what I'm saying they just look lost the whole game I will be good if the Giants can do that I will be good if the offensive line doesn't look like absolute garbage tomorrow and we lose I would be fine I really would be fine. You know what I'm saying? But that's one thing that the Giants have to make sure they do. Andrew Thomas didn't look as promising in the in the uh, preseason, but after that a report came out saying that he was sick. He was sick. So I'm tired of, I'm tired of the excuses. I just want Andrew Thomas to go out there and play. Go out there and play and show why you was drafted with the fourth overall pick in the 2020 NFL draft. The first offensive tackle taken off the board in a very very deep offensive tackle draft class. Shout out to Andrew Thomas, man. That's my message to you, bro. Go out there and you block for Daniel Jones. But a few things to watch. I just said the offensive line. Watch out for the offensive line. How does the tackles look? How do they uh, hold up against Bradley Chubb and Von Miller? You know what I'm saying? One other thing that we all have to watch out for is Kadarius Tony. How do the Giants use him? What, you know, how do they, you know, basically scheme his passes? How do they scheme his touches, you know, um, do they give him some plays out the backfield? Jet sweeps. They're going to use Kadarius Tony. They're not going to use him like a Kenny Galladay. They're not going to use him like a Darius Slayton. He will be used all around the football field. I'm talking special teams also. You know what I'm saying? So Kadarius Tony is a guy I am definitely, definitely going to have my eyes on. Definitely. Another thing we should watch out for is how does the Giants wide receivers look versus this secondary. You know, I feel like Kenny Galladay versus Kyle Fuller, the last time these guys, you know, matched up, Kenny Galladay did pretty good. He did pretty good. Um, I think it was from Talking Giants. They tweeted out something that in two games where he faced Kyle Fuller, you know, he had, I think, 168 yards, 11 catches, and a tut. Those are pretty decent numbers in two games versus uh, a guy at the time who was a pretty decent cornerback. Kyle Fuller at that time you know he didn't have the best year last year but a lot of things contributed into that but how do those guys look does Darius Slayton play like he does in the preseason does he look you know a little shooken up being as I think he will be the wide receiver two for us you know he's not going to be facing no slack off that wide receiver two or at cornerback two going up against the Denver Broncos they have cornerbacks they're deep 
they have cornerbacks, bro. So we're going to need Darius Slayton to play, man. We can't have him going out there and just being a ghost out there on the field. Uh, Sterling Shepard, slot, slot wide receiver. He's going against one of the best slot, wide slot cornerbacks in all of football in Bryce Callahan. So how does Sterling Shepard look? And Kadarius Tony being the rookie, how does he look in general going against a deep cornerback room in the Denver Broncos? So how does the Giants wide receivers, playmakers look versus Denver? And um, let's talk about the defense for the Giants. I am perfectly fine with their defense. I am not worrying about the Broncos putting up 30, 35 points on the Giants defense. I'm not worried about that. I'm not. The only thing I can say that I'm actually worried about and not even worried about, I would say a little skeptical about is can the Giants, you know, get pressure on Teddy Bridgewater? Can they get pressure on Teddy Bridgewater? The Giants had a, de a good defense last year. They overachieved, so to say, last year. But even in games that they played in, that they did pretty decent in, they could not get to the quarterback. They could not get to the quarterback. The uh, Broncos, not the Broncos, the Browns game last year, could not get no pressure on Baker Mayfield. He was sitting clean back there all game. Versus Lamar Jackson, looking clean all game. If the Giants can pressure Teddy Bridgewater into some turnovers then the Giants are fine the Giants are fine I do believe that whichever team can make plays on the other team's opposing defense they will win the game they will win the game if the Giants go out there offensively and they turn the ball over they get some crucial drops on third down they look sloppy early on I don't think their offense has clicked or I don't think their offense has the continuity yet to bounce back so we're going to need the Giants offense to get started off early. I really want them to come out early. I really don't want on the first drive, they go three plays, three and out. I don't want that. And I really am watching Daniel Jones. Let's end it out right now on Daniel Jones. Let's talk about Daniel Jones. Daniel Jones has to protect the football. If Daniel Jones is protected, you can't turn the ball over. You cannot. I do not want to give the Broncos any momentum. I don't want to give the Broncos any field position to make plays happen offensively. So I need DJ to protect that ball. You have your weapons. We're going to see how it all plays out in the first game. He's never played with no weapons like this in his career. Collegiate career. Pro career. He's never played with no weapons like a Kenny Galladay, a Kadarius Tony. Never. Never. So I want to see how he fares with the weapons. You have the guys to get it done. Week one, you have the opportunity to come out there and put the league on notice in your first game with these weapons. Because if Daniel Jones out there, throws two touchdowns, doesn't turn the ball over, the Giants, rather if it's a big win or rather if it's they squeeze out, he's automatically going to be hot he's gonna automatically automatically you know he's gonna be on fire he's gonna be a little heated up going into the next game but if daniel jones comes out there turns the ball over you know what i'm saying some crucial drops like i said you know he gets sacked five times then i'm not gonna be looking i'm not gonna be feeling so hot going up against washington the week after that because i'm pretty sure if the giants you know offensive line gives up five sacks daniel jones doesn't protect the ball they don't win this game they don't win this game. And I'm not going to be feeling that good going up against the Washington football team early on Thursday Night Football. So that I covered, I covered the defense. I covered the weapons. But now let's talk about Saquon Barkley. The guy who is the X Factor. I don't feel like Saquon Barkley can go out there and get 15 carries, 20 carries. I can see 10 carries, 12 carries probably being the ceiling. You know, I'm pretty sure that he will play. You know, Joe Judge said, barring any setbacks, Saquon Barkley is ready to go. And you know who else is ready to go? Saquon Barkley. He's ready to go out there and show why he's worth the money that he's going to get. He's He wants to go out there and show that he's going to bounce back. He's ready to give, put the league back on notice. He is ready to show the league why in 2018 he was the best running back after his rookie season. Is he going to do that in the first game? I don't believe it. 
I don't think he's going to go out there and have 200 yards. He's, only, he's not going to get that many carries to do that. So we're going to need Devontae Booker, Gary Brightwell. When they get the carries, to, hey, do your job. We paid Devontae Booker, what, $6 million a year? We need to go out there and you need to be the, you know, the spellback for Saquon when he's not in the game. He's only going to get, he's not going to get that many carries today. Or tomorrow. He's not going to get that many carries. So Saquon Barkley, I'm just glad to see him back. I am more than just excited to see this team play. I'm ready to see how these guys look. I'm ready to see how Joe Judge looks when he actually has a, probably a competent roster. You know, the coach, you know, last year he had some guys who shouldn't have been playing out there on the field. Now he has guys, I should say, in all phases of the game who I am confident in to go out there and help win the game. I believe the Giants will win this game. What score? I don't know. But I do believe that the Giants will walk out of MetLife one and oh so to all you different Broncos fans yeah yeah that's gonna do it if you enjoyed leave a like comment hit subscribe button and until then it's been your boy jay dimes giants football is back tomorrow met life is going to be packed i can't wait to watch leave a like comment hit the subscribe button and join the dime dropper game and until then it's been your boy jay dimes and i am out go giants kill the broncos peace